other news, the body found off Japan had been, has been identified as one of the 37 Filipino seafarers still missing from a capsized cargo ship. Two seafarers rescued from that vessel are now preparing to come home. The Foreign Affairs Department says the Japanese Coast Guard has resumed the search and rescue operations for the remaining missing crew. What happened to them is proof of the dangers that thousands of Filipino seafarers have to contend with every day. But what exactly do Filipino seafarers face on a daily basis as they sail the high seas, bringing important goods from across the globe? Our Paolo Barcelona takes a look in this report. Hans Antonio has been working as a seafarer for eight years now, helping navigate tankers from port to port. He's currently on vacation in Manila, waiting to board another ship. Meanwhile, Captain Noli Abora and his crew are now on port in Malaysia. Their oil tanker has yet to set sail due to the impact of the pandemic on global shipping. We have a lot petroleum products and raw chemical products. Mostly, the boat is a tanker. So, I came from the chemical, oil, methanol. Both Antonio and Captain Ebora say a seafarer's life, like the waters they sail through, has its smooth and rocky moments. It's Antonio's job as a navigation officer to help captains like Noli to map out the safest route. Di baling may delay ng isang araw, dalawang araw, as long as na safe kami makakapunta sa destination namin. During particularly rough times, seafarers know they are at the mercy of nature and they can do nothing but hope and pray. Interestingly, once they get the all clear to set sail for China, Captain Ebora and his crew will use the same route taken by the ill-fated Gulf Livestock One. Dadaan kami do sa area niyon at saka saka nga yung panahon ng tagabagyo. Kailangan namin paghanda niyon at saka nga kasama nga yung dasal na sana, maiwasan namin kung anong kung mga anumang bagyong ma Man-made threats also haunt seafarers around the world, foremost among them, piracy and harassment at sea. And Captain Ebora knows something about the latter all too well. He, along with 21 other Filipino seafarers, stood their ground and insisted on passing through Scarborough Shoal after being harassed by Chinese ships last year. Indeed, commitment to duty resilience and dedication to family are the qualities that continue to make Filipino sailors the most sought after by shipping companies around the globe. Para kami ng adjustable range na idaan mo sa hirap, idaan mo sa ginhawa, minsan ay medyo nahihirapan sumakay, andiyan pa rin. Ang Filipino kasi ay likas na ay likas na masayahin. Kahit na naghihirap na, tapos nag uh, tawag doon uh, naghihirap na tapos Hirap na hirap na sa, ano, sa trabaho, pawis na pawis na, wala, wala pang kain, minsan, nagkukuha pang tumawa. For Antonio, Captain Ebora, and many other Filipino seafarers, it's a career fraught with risks. But if it would help improve the quality of life of their families back home, then it's all well worth it. Uh, yeah, you know, make Paulo Barcelon, CNN Philippines. And that's it for us this Tuesday, September 8th. I'm Rieta Nwat Cotrillo. I'll see you again tomorrow. Please stay safe.